A long time ago, during the Ark's early days, the island was a completely different place. Life was better, more peaceful, and a lot safer. The apex predator of the island was the Tyrannosaurus Dominum, a descendant of Tyrannosaurus Rex that ruled the island and terrorized anything in its path. The only other carnivore that could compete with the sheer strength of the Rex was the Spinosaurus. Together, these two carnivores made up the top apex predators and nothing could stand in their way. That is until one day, when one carnivore decided to challenge that. Standing at around 80 feet tall and 150 feet long, the largest predator on the island had risen, the Giganotosaurus furiosa, an angry kaiju-like dinosaur that has a taste for blood and wants nothing more than to dominate the land. Its strength is incredible, and its sheer power is unlike any other. The only other large carnivore that could possibly compete with the Giga is the Cacarodontosaurus. Every survivor on the island knows that it's best to just stay away from this dinosaur at all costs. The origin of this dinosaur is very interesting, and according to the lore, the Giganotosaurus was created by the Overseer to prevent a being called Nerva from becoming too powerful and ruling the Ark. The result was a monstrous beast that kept more than just Nerva in his place, actively searching for other apexes to fight and killing everything in its path. The only creature on the island that could stand up to this super apex is the Ark's resident Titanosaur, which I covered in a previous video. Luckily for the creatures on the island, the Giganotosaurus is extremely rare and very hard to find, meaning that they shouldn't have to worry about it too much. If a survivor manages to bring one of these beasts down and attempt to bend the creature to their will, they better have hundreds of narcotic on them due to how rapid the creature's torpor drops as they do not like to sleep. Once tamed, the Giganotosaurus is significantly weakened and will never reach its full potential unless it's fully imprinted, has loads of mutations, and is leveled up in only melee. Speaking of which, when leveling up one of these giants, there is absolutely no point in putting levels into anything apart from melee. The purpose of the Giganotosaurus is to be as strong and to do as much damage as possible. Ark's Giganotosaurus is what you would call a super predator, and very few creatures have what it takes to bring one down. But by far, the Giganotosaurus's most powerful weapon is its anger. Once a Giganotosaurus has taken enough damage, it will enter a rage mode, making it much stronger and more dangerous than it already is. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.